need in there, baby? Uh huh. Lunch money? <laughs> house keys? Driver's license? Uh, huh? I, I can't believe I left the house. With, I never forget my purse. <laughs> yeah, I must be getting absent minded in your old age. Well, it's nice every once in a while to be able to come to your rescue. Uh -huh. You can always blame it on Heather. Me? Yeah, yeah, forcing all that champagne on my wife last night. Shame on you. Blew a couple brain cells. <laughs> wasn't my idea. What do you mean? Robert was there, too. Well, don't get me wrong. Come on, live it up. You're getting married. It's the best excuse for a party I ever heard. <laughs> Though there are others. Things are going great for me in the business, finally. There's this big shot named Tad Channing, and uh, yesterday he just bit the dust. You know, one for the good guys. <laughs> That's great, Steve. I hope your luck holds up. Luck nothing, I tell you, it's a better man is going to win this one. You have a good day, huh? Okay. Right. You too. Yeah, don't worry, I will. Nobody is going to stop me. Now. It's been a long time since I've been dying to get to work. Oh. I'll see you guys. See you. See you, Steve. Bye-bye. Sorry, me and my big mouth. I almost told Steve about oh, to Tad okay. Channing. You almost didn't have to say anything because, as they say, a picture speaks without words. All right, words, that's it. Yeah? That's it. I'm going to tell him the truth. It's better than lying to him outright. Well... It may make you feel better. It's dawn. And Kim experiencing any bad effects from the trip so far? Physically, no, David, but uh, she was nervous. I could tell that even though she was trying not to sound. I just wish I was out there and could at least give her some moral support. Dr. Hughes. Dr. Hughes, Averill Hobson. Yes, Mr. Hobson. I've been trying to reach your son, Tom. Is he there? Well, you know, he is, and he's in Colorado with my wife and daughter. Oh, still on that wild goose chase. Well, I need to talk to him. It's quite important. So will you have him call me right away if he calls you? Mr. Hobson, I don't know why you assume it's a wild goose chase. You might be surprised by what they find out there. I doubt that, Dr. Hughes. I really do doubt that. Are you remembering something? It's all, it's all here. It's just, it's just all, all mixed up. Doug in the, in the crystal cylinder and, and, and tearing at my, at my dress. Uh, it's all here. Tom, Tom, listen. Why don't you start with me? No, 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 no it's, it's here. It's here. It's just, I just put it together. It's Honey, please. Doug and the, and the blood and then, and then the rest. And the, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna remember this time. I'm gonna... <laughs> Turns. And this portion brought to you today by Zest, the deodorant bar that rinses without leaving a sticky soap film so you feel really clean. And by Crest, the makers of new tartar control crest in the silver box. To tell you the truth, Mr. Hobson, I think your whole case against my wife is offensive and ridiculous. Well, I see that hot temper is running the Hughes family, Doctor. I'll give my son your message. Uh, please do. It's quite important that he gets it. By now. Well, where were we? So, Kim and Franny have returned to the scene of their crime. Probably to invent more lies. Lies won't work in front of a jury, Miss Talbot. Not even a friendly jury. I guess you know that... Judge Fielding denied my request for a change of venue. I'm glad. Oh, I understand why you wanted to move the trial away from Oakdale, Mr. Hobson, and I'm sure it would have made your job easier. But it's poetic justice somehow that Kim will be proved a murderess in front of all her friends and family. Yes, well, now that's exactly what we must make sure happens. Which is why I want to rehearse some of the questions I assume you'll be asked on the stand. Don't worry. Tom Hughes won't shake me. Don't underestimate him, Miss Talbot. He can come on like gangbusters in a courtroom when he's out to impress a jury. I'll be ready. 
There's only one thing I'm living for now. Only one thing I've been living for ever since I saw Douglas lying dead on the floor of his bedroom. I won't let you down. I don't think you will. Well, Miss Talbot, you were with Kim Hughes when she thought her husband and Kevin Gibson had been killed in the explosion on the path to the mill house. Will you tell us what was her reaction? I knew then she was planning on murdering Douglas. Poor Douglas, lying upstairs, completely defenseless, at their mercy. Douglas, who had no idea the woman he idolized, was planning to kill him in cold blood. Excellent. Excellent. Ah, uh, Miss Talbot. If you would tell us, please, when was the next time you saw the defendant, Kim Hughes? I remember. What, Franny? I... Say whatever it is that comes into your head, just say it. I remember standing right here and Doug was coming toward me, I think. What about the crystal cylinder? Do you remember that? I don't think so. Are you sure? I don't, I don't know, maybe, maybe, I, maybe yes, maybe, maybe I had it, maybe, may, maybe, maybe, maybe isn't good enough. You gotta think. I don't wanna put ideas into your head, this has to have actually happened, but you gotta think. This is the bed curtain that got slashed, didn't it? Right, right, you remember this? What about this one over here? Remember this? Blood. Oh, I remember the blood. I remember. Of course you remember the blood. Honey, Douglas was lying on top of you when I stabbed. It was on my hands. Why was it on my hands? Listen to me, listen to me, sweetheart. You had fainted. You had fainted. Now, I, I, I took Douglas's body off of you and put it on the floor. And then I, and then I came back to you and I, I rubbed your arms and, and your hands and I tried to revive you, Kim, sweetheart. Kim, let's talk about that for just a second. You, you pulled Douglas off of Franny, off the bed down onto the floor. What were, what were you thinking? Just that I wanted to get back to Franny. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did you... Did you do anything else before you got to Franny? What are you talking about? Well, I don't know. Did you did you go anywhere near the bed curtains? What are you talking about? I... Is it... Is I, it possible? I, I... I... What? What? I had to get... I had to get over Douglas. Because Franny was on the bed, and I... Maybe what? I touched these when, maybe I touched these when I was. Maybe would've... isn't enough, I Kim. Must, what? I Did must you? have done that. Okay. That could explain the blood. Now, what about those slash marks? Do you have any recollection of that at all? Just take your time. Another lie. Dear Lord, how many more will I have to tell before it's finally over? Oh, 